Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam satu Malaysia. I am going to describe the new STPM syllabus, Literature in English, Code 920. For the introduction, the revision of the Literature in English syllabus incorporates current developments in literature studies and syllabus design in Malaysia. Both canonical and non-canonical texts are included in the syllabus so that candidates can gain insights into historical and modern developments of literature and the ways in which these texts can be read and analysed. The syllabus fulfills the requirements of the new STPM structure which spreads the evaluation process over three terms. In this new structure, the subject is divided into three papers. They are Paper 1, Poetry and Short Stories, Paper 2, Plays, Paper 3, Novels. The Aims of the Syllabus The syllabus aims to enable candidates to engage with and make informed responses to a selection of texts from different literary traditions and genres. It also aims to enhance their aesthetic sense and moral awareness. At the same time, it will develop critical and creative thinking, as well as the following soft skills, communication, questioning, persuading, problem solving, and organizing interpersonal and multicultural sensitivity, research, ICT, and lifelong learning. And finally, time management. Assessment objectives. Candidates are required to demonstrate understanding of text by giving a critical and detailed response using relevant and appropriate textual evidence, Show how meaning is conveyed through the use of language structure, form, point of view and other literary devices. Compare and contrast texts in relation to language, structure, form, issues and themes. Learning outcomes. Upon completion of the syllabus, Candidates should be able to do the following in a clear, coherent and effective manner. Identify, describe and explain a range of literary elements, styles and devices. Analyse, interpret and discuss themes, issues and concerns. Synthesise and evaluate techniques, points of view and ideologies. Demonstrate an awareness of the social, cultural and historical backgrounds of the text and the different approaches to their interpretation. Relate texts to their personal experiences and their own social, cultural and historical backgrounds. Present their argument in clear, effective and well-organized prose. The differences between the terminal existing STPM syllabus and the new STPM syllabus. The details are as followed. The number of papers. For the new syllabus, there will be three. For the terminal existing syllabus, there are two. Rationale for change. Subject is divided into three papers according to genres. Paper 1. Poetry and Short Stories, Paper 2, Plays, William Shakespeare, Twelfth Night, and Lorraine, Hansbury, A Raisin in the Sun, and Paper 3, Novels, consisting of Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice, and Amy Tan, The Joy Luck Club. These changes are made to fulfill the requirements of the new STPM structure, which spreads the evaluation process over three terms. Further details are as follows. Syllabus content. For the new syllabus, 
the poetry and short stories, plays and novels. For the terminal existing syllabus, they include Shakespeare and other British writers and new literatures in English. Rationale for the change. The contents of the new syllabus are divided according to genres. This enables candidates to engage meaningfully with texts from different literary genres. Description of papers. Paper 1. Candidates are required to study the following poems and short stories. For the poems, Sonnet 75 by Edmund Spencer, Sonnet 73 by William Shakespeare, A Poison Tree by William Blake, The Solitary Reaper by William Wordsworth, She Walks in Beauty by Lord Byron, Love's Philosophy by P.B. Shelley, To Autumn by John Keats, My Last Duchess by Robert Browning, A Bird Came Down by Emily Dickinson, I Look Into My Glass by Thomas Hardy, At Tea also by Thomas Hardy, When You Are Old by William Yates, Mending Wall by Robert Frost, After Apple Picking also by Robert Frost, On Growing Old by John Macefield, Piano by D. H. Lawrence, Snake also by D. H. Lawrence, I Thank You God for Most This Amazing by E. E. Cummings, The Magpies by Judith Wright, Aunt Jennifer's Tigers by Adrian Rich, Warning by Janie Joseph, and finally Digging by Seamus Haney. For the short stories, you will be required to know the following stories. Ratna Muni K.S. Maniam Pasang Pritam Ko, A Certain Cry by Cynthia Anthony, Birthday by M. Shan Mugalingam, Through the Wall by Pritam Ko, Pictures in My Mind also by Pritam Ko, The Dream of Vasanta by K.S. Maniam, The Touring Company by Shirley Lim, No Visitors Allowed by John Machado, a Love of the Past by Stella Kahn, Removal in Pasir Panjang by K.S. Maniam, and As the Buffaloes Bathed by Pritam Kaur. This paper consists of three sections. Section A requires candidates to analyse a given poem or short stories. Answers must focus entirely on the particular poem or excerpt, demonstrating a close reading of and a critical response to it. No reference should be made to extraneous details not found in the poem or the excerpt. Section B requires candidates to answer a compulsory essay question. Answers will require close reference to two poems from the syllabus. Section C requires candidates to answer a compulsory essay question. Answers will require close reference to two short stories from the syllabus. Answers to questions in sections B and C must be relevant, critical and informed. Candidates must choose appropriate poems and short stories in their discussions, providing textual evidence to support their answers. Paper 2. Candidates are required to study the following plays, William Shakespeare, Twelfth Night, and Lauren Hansbury, A Raisin in the Sun. This paper consists of three sections. Section A consists of two excerpts, one from each play. Candidates are required to answer questions on one of them. Answers must focus entirely on the particular excerpt. Candidates need to demonstrate a close reading of and a critical response to it. No reference should be made to extraneous details not found in the excerpt. Section B requires candidates to answer a compulsory essay question on Twelfth Night. 
answers will require close reference to the play. Section C requires candidates to answer a compulsory essay question on A Raisin in the Sun. Answers will require close reference to the play. Answers to questions in sections B and C must be relevant, critical and informed. Candidates must appro provide appropriate textual evidence to support their answers. Paper 3 Candidates are required to study the following novels Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice and Amy Tan, The Joy Luck Club. This paper consists of three sections. Section A consists of two excerpts, one from each novel. Candidates are required to answer questions on one of them. Answers must focus entirely on the particular excerpt. Candidates need to demonstrate a close reading of and a critical response to it. No reference should be made to extraneous details not found in the excerpt. Section B requires candidates to answer a compulsory essay question on pride and prejudice. Answers will require close reference to the novel. Section C requires candidates to answer a compulsory essay question on the Joy Luck Club. Answers require close reference to the novel. Answers to questions in sections B and C must be relevant, critical and informed. Candidates must provide appropriate textual evidence to support their answers. Teaching periods. The total number of teaching periods for each paper is 120. The table below provides a guide to the duration teachers may allocate to each genre when covering the syllabus. For paper 1, which consists of two genres, poultry and short stories, poultry is given 64 teaching periods and short stories 56 teaching periods which make up a total of 120 teaching periods. For paper 2, plays, the teaching periods are given 120. And for the third one, paper 3, novels are given 120 teaching periods. Scheme of Assessment Term 1 Code and Name of Paper Code 920 Stroke 1 Poetry and Short Stories The Type of Test Written Test Section A Essay question, two essay questions given and you answer one out of two essay questions. Section B, essay question, one essay question given, answer one compulsory essay question. And section C, essay question, one essay question given, answer one compulsory essay question. The marks will be 75 marks or 33.33% and the duration is 2 hours. Term 2 Code and name of paper Code 920 stroke 2 Place Type of test Written test section A Essay question 2 essay questions given Answer 1 out of 2 essay questions Section B Essay question one essay question given and you answer one compulsory essay question. And section C, essay question, one essay question given, answer one compulsory essay question. The marks will be 75 marks or 33.33% and the duration is 2 hours. Term 3. Code and name of paper. The code is 920 stroke 3, novels. Type of test, written test, section A, essay question. Two essay questions given and you answer one out of two essay questions. Section B, essay question. One essay question given, you answer one compulsory essay question. Section C, essay question. One essay question given and you answer one compulsory essay question. The marks will be 75 marks or 33.33% 33 
and the duration is two hours. These examinations will be centrally assessed by MPM. It is hoped that all teachers and candidates will benefit from this restructuring of the new syllabus. Thank you and all the best.